hello everyone so welcome to this week's weekly vlog documentary style update of my life um i a lot has happened actually but i just want to create some real content on this channel i do have a travel content and i feel like on that channel you know it's all about creating the best travel experience and trying new food and culture and on this channel i just want to document my life and put out just like the rise content like basically no editing like this is just a freaking weekly update video just talking um so i can come back to this later and just look at it um because i'm just craving i just want to i just want to let things out like this is not for anyone this is just for me to look back at so I'm not trying to optimize this video. I'm not trying to, you know, create an awesome hook. Like, none of that. Like, this is just honestly to put out there to document my life so I can look back at it. So, this week a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Um, I literally moved out of my place. I've been at my place for two years. And I have all my stuff in my freaking car. Like, it's all in here. My freaking... I'm going to have to show you. My freaking trunk is packed AF. My whole closet's in the back. So very quickly. <laughs> this is my life right now. I feel like I'm just living out of my car. I'm actually living at my mom's house for a little bit. Long story short, I had to move out because of the HOA company. Um... There's just, there was five of us living in this condo. Long story short, I was just having a hard time coming in because we're not allowed to have five properties, or sorry, five cars on the property. But I don't feel like talking about the past. Let's talk about, you know, what we're doing in the present moment. Um, so surprisingly, I'm actually really proud of myself. Really, really proud of myself because I thought I would been a little bit more upset but I'm honestly feel like I have just surrendered all my control for, you know, career, finances, love, where I'm staying. I'm just, it just feels really good to just surrender and just trust God with everything. There's this Bible verse that I have been repeating to myself a lot. And it's trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Then there's also another one that says, um, what does this say? <laughs> Uh, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And that just gives me so much faith and so much hope. And for those of you who do know me personally, you know that my faith journey has been all over the place. Um, and I haven't even gone to church in over three years, but I do find myself looking at Bible verses just to find some, some sort of hope. Um, because last year I just had this like crazy spiritual warfare. Um, and that's like another... I don't even know if I'll ever talk about it or not, but that's just a whole thing in itself. But I have been finding a lot of hope in just uh, repeating those Bible verses. And it makes me feel so peaceful when I just give up my control in my life. Because for the last few years, I feel like I've just been like trying to control everything. And I just find so much freedom and just giving it all up. So especially when it comes to love, like I don't even want to talk about that, but that's another thing we're 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 closing a chapter on love and we're going to focus on me focus on my career um and just like it's just letting go i'm just letting go and it feels really good so i'm at my mom's house right now and um i am looking at new apartments with two of my cousins we do plan on moving together and we have the current place that they're living at is on the market so we're just waiting for someone to move in when someone moves in then we can move out all together to a new apartment and that's not going to happen until april 1st so right now i'm kind of just like living out of my car I have some of my stuff at my mom's house, but my grandpa is going to DR, so I'm going to my grandma's house tonight to keep her company. So I'm going to be going back and forth from my mom's and my grandma's um, while simultaneously like looking for my own place. So we're just going to enjoy living out of my car for a little bit. Oh, like I do want to feel some type of groundedness, but I just understand that right now I can't do that. So 
um, within all this moving around and all my stuff being in my car, I'm trying to just continue certain habits like um, just eating healthy, exercising, um, making time for my YouTube channels and working on myself and reading and just, you know, having, you know, keeping my mental health in check. Um, and yeah, and honestly, just feeling like surrendering and letting go has just brought so much ease into my life. So, and I honestly feel like I don't have time to really be like super upset about all the changes that's been happening. Like I could have a mindset of, you know, why is this happening to me? And that's typically what happens in my mind. Um, I just kind of like ugh, get angry at the world, but this time around, I, I feel like I'm just super grateful. I'm super grateful I have my mom here where I can like just crash at her place. I'm super grateful my grandma got approved for an apartment. She recently just moved. Like I just have like options and I have a loving family and I have my health. I have a bartending job. I create videos. I do what I love. And honestly, like I'm living a life that I am grateful for. And yeah, I know everything will be okay. I feel like God is pushing me and my family to a brand new chapter and it feels good. And I'm looking forward to see what the future holds. I also have been feeling a little bit lonely even though there's people around. Sometimes I do get a sense of like loneliness. Um, one, because I feel like I don't have a partner and that's something that I crave. Two, I feel like I haven't seen my friends in a long time um, and just like being around them more and I haven't connected with people, but I feel like I'm trying more. I'm getting on phone calls with my friends from other states. I'm trying to hang out more. I've been going out to bars and just like having more of a social life, hanging out with some of my coworkers. And I feel like being at home has made me closer even though I've been here for a week, like I've seen my mom more. I've seen my uncles and my aunts because they visit my mom often. And just seeing people has like, has made me more happier. There is a loneliness epidemic. I'm sure you've heard of it. And I feel like I definitely have someone who is a part of it. I felt so lonely these past few weeks. And I think just being at my mom's house has just like healed that a lot more. And I've only been here for a few days, but just coming home and just seeing her there makes me so happy. And honestly I love just waking up to breakfast sometimes and my stepdad will make me coffee and some bread my mom has made me breakfast yesterday and like we also have a family member from DR and she cooks for us and like everything is pretty good right now like even though on the outside I feel like things didn't go my way I'm still so grateful and happy that I just have so much to be grateful for. So yeah, life is good. I don't have to pay rent this month. I'm saving money. Like I'm excited for the future. And yeah, if you guys are interested in following along, don't forget to subscribe and follow me along this journey of freaking life. Here I'm sharing the good, the bad, the ugly. So yeah, so much to be grateful for and I will keep y'all updated.